Dear Richard Opal, my husband to be. I am so incredibly happy. I can't believe this day has finally come. It's been quite a journey to get me here, and some of it has been dark and lonely and sad. But looking back, I wouldn't change a single step. Because all of it brought me to you and to the spot. I will no longer feel scared or lonely or sad. Because walking with you, the world is different. Janet is a truly generous and kind person. Uh, my sister has always been there for me at my lowest moments and my highest. I knew that there was something different about Rich the day that Janet met him. She came back from meeting him and came into my room and said, Anni, I think I met someone good today. In my early childhood, when I learned about the concept of love, I dreamt of a certain woman. She was warm, peaceful, loving, caring. But you, Janet, Kaya, and you are all that and so much more. Richard, for the first time that I've witnessed, was early to his wedding. Which, you gotta give him credit for, the guy has been late his whole life. And which tells me that the only person in the world that he cares enough for, to be on time for, is you, Janet. Now that spells love. I hold a marriage together. It is threads, hundreds of tiny threads which sew people together through the years. That is what makes a marriage last. Janet, um, I would like to thank you uh, before God um, for bringing me closer to God's love that is unconditional. And I learned so much about God's love through your love. Richard Oka. <laughs> I've been dreaming of this day all my life. And all of those little details may have changed over the years but you're the most important detail that has remained. And so, by the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife.